we have been through several other reading curriculums. Some come with multiple readers, flashcards, phonics. Hey, I'm Monique, a pediatrician turned homeschool mom and keeper of my home. Here, I love to share family, health, home, and sustainability tips that will help to provide us with the skills and know-how that we all need to uplift and equip ourselves. Today I wanted to take a moment to go ahead and talk to you about a wonderful find that I have used in my home school since we've started. This is what I have found to be the best tool to teach your child to read. This is a book written in the 1800s by William McGuffey. The history of his story and how he came to being a minister and a teacher are just so interesting. If you ever have a chance to read up on William McGuffey, please do. I'll be going into that in a later video, but for now I wanted to focus on what I found to be the best for teaching my child to read. We have been through several other reading curriculums. Some come with multiple readers, flashcards, phonics, grammar rules, specific signs and symbols that the student is said to must have down packed specific flashy colors, some things even on digital platforms. But nothing has compared to the McGuffey's Eclectic Primer, which is the first in a series of wonderful books for teaching grammar, phonetics, vocabulary, spelling, and even moral and godly character. It is a wonderful tool that was used all throughout in the 1800s by families in the pioneer setting. In this book, you'll find that your student can step-by-step step go through the simple things such as your alphabets, capital and lowercase. It's then going to take you into what you would think are very simplistic lessons and even seeing pictures that are so simplified you might be taken aback. But take it from me as a pediatrician understanding developmental milestones and having been through it myself with my own student. This has been the best for us because it sets a foundation and ground work that you don't get with other curriculum. The simplistic setup of it helps your student to just focus on the specific things on the page without any other distracting elements. Now all children are different. So my experience of course may not be just like yours or we may be going through a similar experience but still each student should be thought of to be an individual and never to be forced 
through or needing to have to rush through any curriculum. This allows you to take your time developing the specific sounds and connecting them with simple pictures that then help your student to formulate and understand exactly what the words mean. As you go on further into the book, it becomes a little bit more complex. As you can see now, there are no pictures to associate with the words. So this really helps to test whether or not for you as the teacher, whether or not your student has really gotten the words or if he was just connecting the picture with the words. So it just helps you without even trying to find that your student is either progressing or still not where he should be. As you go on further, you get a little bit more detailed, you have a little bit more complexity, but never rushed or feeling like you have to memorize specific grammar rules, which I feel personally that at this stage of early reading is not necessary or needed at this level. When you immerse your child with rich literature and simple tools such as this, those grammatical rules will come because of what they hear in the way the words are formed, in the way the sentences flow, it will all fall into place. So mom, never feel overwhelmed or that your student is behind because all things fall into place in its own time. And you are not on anybody's testing schedule as a homeschooling mom. You have the ability and the blessing to be able to teach your child in his or her own time. So as we can see, we have definitely accelerated in the words on the page and now to little short stories. You will even have some areas where you can build out further on the vocabulary that you're learning. It is just an awesome tool and I am so excited to share that I now have an early reader. After all that we have tried, from very expensive curriculums, many with multi multiple levels, tools, cards, like I said, and phonetic tools, none have come as close as this. It is a classic and I can see why it was so widely used in the 1800s. It is really gold. It has been a treasure for us. I'm going to continue onward with, as my reader gets older and as he learns more. The next one in this series for my reader after we're done would be the pictorial eclectic primer. This one, of course, will have a little bit more advanced stories and vocabulary, and still always within a moral foundation and underpinning with simple and beautiful stories. Not to mention now, we start to see some very beautiful illustrations which are always stimulating for the child's mind. So just remember, as you have the blessing to teach your child to read, never feel overwhelmed. Start with something like this. Try it out. And one of the best things, too, is it's not expensive. And this series can actually move with you from early reader way onward to even the collegiate level. I definitely want to give a shout out to 
Mom Delights YouTube page because she's the one that introduced me through her videos to these wonderful tools. I'll leave a link to her channel so that you can check her out too. But definitely give this a try. Try something that seems so simple but is such a golden tool. All the best and I'll see you soon.